Well, welcome back everybody. Um, just thought I'd do a quick little flow explanation of a Farmall Super C engine. Um, many people may not realize that these are not a full flow oil system through the oil filter. They're only a partial flow and I'll explain that here in this quick video. So the oil pump bolts right back into here. Yeah, so this slot right here is where the oil pressure comes out. And now that goes in that housing that I was just showing you. Yeah, so you can see those that groove there where the hole is. That hole goes from right here all the way down to the other end. And you can see there's a hole down through there. And that actually goes up to the head also. That bottom hole right here, maybe you can see it better without the light. Yeah, I guess you can. That goes up to the head. That actually goes to the rocker covers, or the rocker arms. And everything else, you know, just other holes, they're all fed pressure here. Comes in through and splits, goes both ways. They're all drilled. Um, we'll stop right here. <coughs> so this is the holes that they had to drill in the block to get all that stuff to intersect with one another. It's not a cord casting all the way. I mean, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a casting hole there somewhere, but that could have been drilled from the factory too. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, you can see down through that. So anyway, <clears throat> you gotta take all these out when you're cleaning the block, but yeah. So that hole right there, down through the center right here, dumps right back into the crankcase. And everything that goes through this filter goes back. This right here has got pressure on it, on this side. Your oil pressure gauge is here. The oil flows right out here. Goes up against your filter element that sets in there, which I have one that sets on here. This goes right on like that, and it just press fit down in there. And, uh, this top where it's small is a seal around the bolt so that it has to go through the filter element. And <clears throat> you notice there's a little bit of a little bit of a step right here. That's so that it gives this oil a place to to go. It comes out, comes out the bottom, goes in through here, comes down through here around the bolt, and goes out through the bottom. That bolt is hollow. It actually has a hole in it. Um, where or where? Right there. So there's one hole in that filter right there. And that right there is all the oil that can go through that filter at any one time. And of course when that's washed out, it's about a sixteenth of an inch. I'll go clean it so you can see it. Yeah, now you can see that. That's about a sixteenth of an inch. And what this does is this is your restriction so that you can have oil pressure. If you did not have this restriction right here, then your oil pressure would come on up and just dump through here and you wouldn't have enough to run your engine. So this, this right here, don't ever enlarge it, but you always got to make sure that it's open and clear. Because if it's plugged up, no sense to even bother changing your oil filter because the oil won't travel through it. So anyway, that's a little bit how these uh, work. I'll put this back in here, keep it clean. That's a uh, Wix filter. It's uh, 51172 and they do come with the new seal that goes in here. So I know I have bought uh, stuff. Um, I don't remember what make they were but they didn't come with a seal. And, you know, you can get by that. Yeah, so that's how all the oiling system's done on a Super C, it's pretty simple. Um, I've got all these plugs out, I'm gonna, I actually got my uh, gun cleaning kits here, I'll show you them. So I got a uh, 22 caliber one here. I'll get some diesel fuel, and I'll scrub back and forth in there. This here I'll go through the big galley with. And as you can see, two sections of a cl gun cleaning kit work just nice to get all the galleys. I'll clean every galley that that has and I will blow them out real good. 
then I'll take some gas on a rag and I'll just clean everything, blow everything, get this thing all clean. I was going to take it outside and wash it with some water and soap and stuff, but it got cold tonight, didn't get to it. Uh, just the way things happen. So I'm just going to clean it by hand. But anyway, I wanted to people to know just how this oil filter works. Um, a lot of people don't realize how uh, limited flow that goes through that. So you have to be very careful about the cleanliness of your oil. Don't think the oil filter will ever catch it. All that does is it doesn't really even catch any of the oil. I really don't know even why they put them on, put an oil filter on a Super C. It catches, you know, in probably a couple of hours worth of running, it might put all the oil through at once. But it's put all the oil through the bearing a hundred times before it goes through the filter once. So if you get anything in the oil, it's going to do damage before the filter ever gets it. It's just the nature of the beast. So keep clean, everybody. That's the main thing I can tell you about the oiling system on a Super C. Anyway, hope this might help somebody, and we'll see you on the next one.